There they are, and you can see young Tumba just slinking away in front of our vehicle over here. It looks like this young bull over here sent something. Let's see what happens. They'll be able to smell the leopard now, and not too perturbed by it, but they did sense something was up. He just lay down in a bush a few meters away. He obviously knows that he can very well avoid these animals with his stealth and speed. And what are the chances that young Hosanna is also being barked at by an Inyala? Well done to Taylor for finding him. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I've just got to report that there's a large herd of giraffe coming down to drink at the Vuyatilla waterhole. Negative Tom, haven't seen them, but thank you. So I'm just replying to Tom quickly, who let us know. And it sounds like quite a beautiful scene. So it's all happening here on Juma. And I'm hoping that Tumba decides to also go for a drink, because if we do, it'll be an incredible scene seeing this leopard with a whole journey of giraffe drinking. Now oh, this Ellie over here is getting quite close. The leopard's just in the bush over here. Hard to see him, but he's lying down in there. Oh, no, he's had enough. <laughs> and now the Ellie's seen him. And it's flatulating as it goes after him. <laughs> what an awesome, awesome scene. <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> now, we need to be careful not to get left in a cloud of dust here. I'm sure the elephants are probably not going to chase the leopard for too much further than that. But what an incredible scene that was. <laughs> I love the way he just kind of lay up on the side of that termite mound there, thinking he was going to be able to disappear. Yes, Carla, the elephants are certainly far too big a, an item for this young leopard to try and take down. <laughs> Where has he disappeared to? It's incredible how quickly they can disappear. I'm confident we're going to find him possibly even up in the small wattle tree. He was kind of heading towards that and he may have jumped up there for a little bit of refuge as well as a vantage point. Uh, no, Senzo spotted him. He hasn't made it towards this tree, but he may well continue in this direction if the elephants give him a hard time. So let's see if we can get a view from here somewhere. There he is. Should be able to get a nice two shots of him and the elephants. Oh, cool. What is he stalking? But have Ellie seen him? Go wide, Sense. <laughs> oh, and whilst he was running away from the elephants, he had a shot at some Franklin. Let me see if I can get us into another good spot. Hold on, everyone. Oh, the leopard's somewhere in this bush in front of us. I can't see it, but the elephant's very, very close to it, wherever the leopard is. So we could well see it getting chased straight down the barrel towards us, which will be an awesome, awesome shot. Can you believe that the elephant's feeding on those bushes now, just meters away from where the leopard's hiding out? And it looks like more elephants are coming onto the scene. Reinforcements. Oh, and there's a little baby there. Those mothers are not going to... Oh, there goes the leopard running off to the left. <laughs> the hunter becomes the hunted. Just a minute ago, it was trying to sneak up on prey. And now it's trying to sneak away from some elephants. How the tables have turned. How awesome. Let me just reposition the vehicle one more time. 
in the event that we get one more chase from this elephant. Yes, Jason, it is all happening for me, um, which is a relief because my last two drives have been painfully boring. <laughs> all the action's okay. been with Taylor and Steve. And it looks like these elephants are just like a herd of giraffe, also heading off to the Vuyatella Dam for a drink. But I sadly don't think we can leave the leopard to go and watch that. It'll be too risky and too difficult to try and relocate him. Book lover, you'd like to know if the elephants would actually kill Tumba if they got a hold of him. And yes, I think they would. Um, I don't think they would feel any mercy. And an, an animal so big against such a small animal, I mean, if they got a hold of him, they could cause such large damage in such a short space of time but it would be highly unlikely that they did manage to actually get a hold of him you know little leopard cubs or lion cubs I think if they smelt them they could well trample them and I'm sure it has happened it's not something I've ever actually heard of happening though but I'm confident it certainly would have wonderful well what a treat we are having this afternoon. We are going to now be able to send you back to Taylor with a sleepy Hosanna.